What's up, guys? We're back again with another player breakdown. Today's going to be Kyle Trask's performance against the Houston Texans. So Kyle had an actual pretty good day. He had his first professional touchdown, albeit it's preseason, but it doesn't matter. This is something to grow off of, and nice delivery, perfect positioning, perfect placement. What do you like about this one? Yeah, first things I like is just the the read down the middle of the field um, and then just quickly analyzing that he's going to have Malcolm open here on the seam route. He just understands, okay, this guy's going to – he sees Malcolm is going to be open in that middle left uh, part of the zone and just sees it, makes a nice throw over the coverage. And, again, good accurate ball. The one negative, and I'll let you touch on this, is just the footwork. Yeah, so this is my biggest knock on him. There's a reason why he doesn't have that velocity – Check out his feet. Why are you throwing the ball facing? You want to you want to lean this ball forward and kind of push into the throw. He's almost jumping backwards and hopping to throw this. I know the guy's wide open. You want to get it to him fast, but come on, drive this ball. And that's this is what a lot of critics have about him. He just doesn't have the velocity on the ball. He can make every throw. It's just the velocity isn't there. But we keep going on. There's a lot of good though. There is a lot of good moves. I mean, look at this, feeling the pocket, moving up in the pocket, and look at that laser throw. A little dart on that. I, I mean, that's, that's a lot of good movements, a lot of good things to, to be said on this one. Break it down for me. Yeah, again, you got to like the pocket awareness here. Um, again, this is just something that's kind of up and down with him, but, man, when it's on, it's really good. You know, sliding to your left there and then stepping up into the pocket, making a nice throw to Cyril Grayson. I mean, that's really nice. Again, good velocity there when he stepped up into it. Again, I'll let you break it down more. The footwork is just... A little confusing. Yeah, so it's literally like he's throwing all with his arm. Like that back arm, it almost looks like a, a pitcher. Like he's almost pushing up instead of driving through. And it's and it's weird. I mean, the accuracy, though, is incredible. Look at where this ball's at. It's perfect. And perfect spiral, but I almost want Clyde Christensen and, and the quarterback's coach and Leftwich to try and work a little bit with this. You don't want to mess with mechanics too much, but... I mean, if he can get a little bit more velocity on this with his size, his ability to read the offense and move around like this, I mean, he's got a little bit of pocket mobility. But then check this out again. He's hopping. He's hopping to make this throw on his tippy toes. Like that, with no one around. You can't be doing this stuff. And Like, when it's against number ones, this is an interception. But again, this is preseason. This is something good to go off of. I'm not going to be uh, negative Nancy. It's a completion, <laughs> but uh, break it down a little bit more for me. Yeah, again, there's a lot to like from it. Uh, you you like the pump fake here. Um, you know, that's real nice. Get the defense going one way, and then he's going to roll out to his left. This is nice, but you just like to see him stop right there, set his feet, and drive this football to Darden, or at least, you know, lead him to the sideline. But again, it's a completion, so it's positive. Now, this play was very smooth. I mean, you like that uh, execution there, a nice uh, play fake rollout you know, throw it backside to, to Tanner Hudson. Um, this is really nice. Again, nice, easy play call. Good, good execution. Yeah, I'm not going to down anything about this. Everything was perfect on this to me. Look at the perfect head fake. Ball's going into the running back. No, it's not. Head down. Then he pulls around immediately. Locates his man. Perfect accuracy throw. Look at this. Smooth transition right where it needs to be. Perfect. I mean, can't do it better, to be honest. I mean, Tom Brady probably would give him a compliment on that one, too. But check this out. One, two, three, boom, get it out. Nice, nice placement, nice quick read, nice getting the ball out. Talk about it. Yeah, that that's fine. Again, there's uh it's good rhythm, it's good uh, you know, uh drop back as far as the the movement skills. And then yeah, getting into your playmaker and Tyler Johnson who makes people miss. That's really nice. And then you gotta like him taking control of the line of scrimmage here, you know, making reads, making communications, making sure everyone's on the same page, uh, making sure the protection's good. So that's nice to see that they're given all this responsibility and then makes a nice throw here, timing, good play there. Yeah, like you just said, the amount of responsibility he's getting literally three games in is awesome. I mean, the command of the offense, they were hyping him in the offseason about how much he and Andrew Luck were similar in understanding of the playbook. But, I mean, you're not going to compare the two. One was a first overall pick. Uh, but I like this. They one, two, three, get it out. Good footwork here. Just replicate it over and over. Like, position yourself in a position like this. Drive off that back foot, throw it forward, completion. And we need to see more of that. We don't need to see holding on to the ball too much. But, again, here, quick read. The, the defense is dropping back. You see all the middle of the field is dropping back. Take what the defense is giving you. I like this. What do you see? 
Yeah, I like it too. And I just like his positioning of his uh, his eyes here. Again, manipulating the defense, they're dropping back and then, you know, quick turn and, and fire um, to your, you know, curl route here because he understands he's going to have um, space underneath. So again, that's just a great play, getting yards and setting up a short third down. And then we keep going on. Now, what do we see? We see the deep ball. The critics are there, but his deep ball is pretty. A little bit underthrown, but I mean, that's, that's plenty of velocity or plenty deep ball for the NFL. But what do you see with this one? Yeah, this one, I mean, you would like to see it maybe, um, you know, led a little bit farther. But again, this is, again, a good throw, good spiral, good um, velocity on it. Again, just um, probably not to the right guy because he's probably not going to make that play. But again, it, it's not a, a hurt a hurt throw or, or a negative play. Here, you don't want to see this. You don't want to see him pump faking uh, to the left and then going to cross your body back to the right, even though the receiver is open, you just don't want to see that kind of mechanics or, or delivery. Yeah. I mean, maybe he's still a little antsy. I know it's three games in only three games in, but th this is never a good idea. Pumping one way and then twisting his whole entire body to throw it the opposite way. That's that could have been a pick. That could have been a pick six. We all know that too well with our former quarterback. So no, Take this one to the, the playbook and er erase it immediately. So that's one of the bad. Now we're going to have a couple more bad. Him just holding on to the ball too long. You got to step up a little bit. If the position's there, if there's a receiver running wide open right here, get rid of it. Now you see him. Don't look for the bigger play. Don't pump. What are you waiting for? Get rid of it. I don't know what's going on there. What do you see? Yeah, I mean, he he definitely sees, you know, the reads here. He's got he's to gotta find a way to get this ball out. Uh, again, he's looking – probably to make the first down, but here you just got to get rid of the football. I mean, you understand that pressure is coming. You don't have a great offensive line in front of you. So you really can't hold this ball longer than three seconds like he does here. So, yeah, I mean, he's just got to throw it out there to 86 direction, let it go. Even if he doesn't have his head turned around, you got you to let the football, you know, go and see what happens. I mean, maybe he sees a third and seven. I need the first down. I need the sticks. And these guys aren't going to get it for me. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's either a turnover on downs or not term, it's either a fumble and they get the ball at the 40 on your side, or you throw this ball in incompletion and, or it just doesn't get to the first down marker. And then you punt it and you make them win from 80, 90 yards down the field. Play it smart, play, play the chess match. That was a bad decision in my opinion. And now again, you got guys open, get rid of the ball. Second and eight. This isn't even a first down throw. You have to make, you got a guy right here, get rid of it quickly, throw it to the, the sideline. There's guys around it, but only throw it to where your guy can get it. I just I think he needs to get rid of the ball faster and then just eats it. What do you see here? Yeah, it's definitely a learning opportunity. Again, these are a lot of things that he can get better at, and I think he will. Um, it's just understanding situations, understanding your playbook. And like you said, yeah, he's got the read to the outside. He should look that way. It looks like he does, but then yeah. he goes back towards the middle because he's looking for that big play, and it's just not there, and then eventually ends up a sack because he waited too long. Yeah, we, we don't need Superman out there. We just need the guy that makes the right play consistently. But again, we're looking at this from the catch 22 point of it. So, yeah, we're, we're couch potatoes. Other than that, guys, if you like the content, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't just yet. Tell us about Kyle Trask. Is he any good? What do you think of him? Do you think he's going to be making it in the NFL? Let us know. With that said, until the next one.